Come on, little chickens. Getting your new chicken tractor. Bridge's leg up on that leg. Style. It's a style. Mm -hmm. They're gonna like it. They're gonna like that grass. So show us what you're using. This is supposed to go on a, a little camping propane bottle. You know, the little green canisters? Yeah. Get in a two-pack or whatever. This is an extension cord that's supposed to uh, make it easier to run your grill, camping grill, off of a uh, big bottle. So I put this thing on this hose, you know. I like it because it gives you some precision. It lets you be able to cut the hole precise if you need smaller holes or bigger holes. Yeah, if I wanted to do P, you know. Nice. I could do a P. I like it. You know. Right? Yeah. Hey, let me help you, baby. I don't need to be burning a hole in that hose. That'd be bad. Right? I like it because it's not a huge flame like we were using yesterday. Much easier to control. Much easier to control. Yep. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What you think? What you think? Much easier to control. Much easier to control. This is another technique we use to burn holes, but you have to be really careful not to get that flame too high, because it'll burn a big old hole in that plastic before you know it. We learned that the hard way. Yeah, I love how these little soil blockers worked this year. Look how good that zinnia looks. Love these little things. My sister had the soil blocker and I borrowed it from her. But these zinnias, they look great. I also have some in these little jiffy peat pellet pots, whatever you call those things. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do soil blockers from now on. So this little thing is, I mean, this is just a little plastic thing that we buy lettuce in sometimes and it works great. Works really well for these soil blockers. I like it because it's a way to reuse a piece of plastic. Now I can't tell you how excited I am to be using this this woven fabric this year. I am really looking forward to it keeping the weeds down in the garden. Which planting? Corn. What variety? Silver King. Silver King? I never heard of Silver King. Every queen needs a king. That is a fast way to plant corn. Man, I wish my daddy had had that when we were growing up. That would have been a back saver. Very nice. Very nice. So, we're doing corn and black eyed peas without the tarps and we're doing tomatoes green beans flowers cucumbers melons squash peppers we're doing those on the black plastic just to help keep the weeds down are they happy Leave so need to make them a couple of roosts, but that'll be for tomorrow. I'm done today. I'm gonna go make biscuits. Well, that sounds like a plan. So mm. you got sunburn today. You got a bunch of stuff in your hair. 
Do you want? Mm -hmm. Bunch like, of trash. You gonna get it out? It's gonna take a brush. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna take. It's not like picking something out. Well, you need a curry comb. <laughs> I don't need a curry comb. You need a curry comb. <laughs> so we're both filthy and tired. It's a good kind of tired though. So um, we got a lot done today. We got the the Chevy truck bed move for the chicken brooder. We got the laying birds moved to the chicken tractor in the pasture. Uh, I guess Sally's gonna stick around for a while. Yep. Sally disappeared for a couple of weeks. We have no idea where she went. She's very verbal. All right, Pat's going to make some biscuits. He's very good at making biscuits. So I'm gonna finish planting these flowers and we'll catch y'all later. See ya. You know it's a good day when you got dirt on your fingernails.